Hi, this is a quick one. Um, shouting out to athletes. Um, I know I hit a cross neck sometimes with who these videos go out to, but today I'm chatting with the athlete in mind. So now is actually a really good time to address gastro issues if this is something that you've been challenged by. Um, a lot of us blame bad nutrition, but sometimes there can be other things going on um, at the core of your issues with food um, that might especially wear their head up when you're racing. Um, so for example, poor tolerance of your carbohydrates, um, nausea, gas, wind, um, IBS type symptoms. Um, but this can also have an impact as far back as your energy. So you might see fatigue, um, also um, inflammation, so more muscle, joint, pain type issues, arthritic type problems. Um, so why might that be? Well, there are loads of reasons. Um, the main ones for athletes are that you are training very hard. Hard training is challenging on your digestive system. Um, also the places that we put ourselves, so open water swimming and dams, lakes, rivers, oceans, seas, wherever that might be. Global travel is going to throw us into different areas with, with different food exposures, but you have an increased likelihood at some point of um, exposing yourself to possible pathogens or parasites, but also training very hard can change the commensals in your gut or increase um, inflammation or decrease the mucus layer, which is what we would call leaky gut. Um, this can then roll into more and more problems as we kind of pile on more training, more stress, more travel, more different food exposures. Um, and then where am I going on my trail of all this? It becomes a big, bad, pickled mess um, where gut symptoms are going to rear their head into IBS type issues or what you might notice is you're out on a long bike and your nutrition choice leads to gas, wind, stomach pain or even diarrhea or constipation when you when you get back um, or the following day or that night as you're lying in bed you notice more stomach pain. These are not normal symptoms. They're, they're usually because something is, is going on in the gut. Your localized immune system might be suppressed um, there might be an infection, there might be inflammation, there, your microbiome, so the balance of bacteria, yeasts, fungi, um, and other organisms, uh, viruses, for example, might be out of whack. And when that's out of whack, it affects everything because that colony in your gut, it's like a, it's like a miniature world. It's supposed to do stuff for your body, it's supposed to make stuff, it's supposed to control stuff, it's supposed to be the first line of defense. Um, when that starts to go out of whack, you start to see more issues. Um, what usually happens then is people start to embark on a more restricted diet, um, for example, keto or low FODMAPs or low carbohydrate or high protein or whatever. The symptoms may get better for a little while, but you're going to increase the problem because that more extreme or more restrictive or fiber deficient diet is going to lead to your own commensals, the ones that we want there to diminish, which is then going to reduce the amounts of beneficial compounds that can be generated by the gut, or it can increase um, how other commensals gobble up your mucus layer and lead to mucus thinning, which is gut leakiness, which leads to more food intolerances and feeling shit. So the issues kind of go on and on. Um, and when we start to see this progress for longer, we can also see symptoms of Small, small intestinal bowel overgrowth or more gas production. So the symptoms start to travel up as well as travel down. Um, it becomes a bit of a mess. Um, it's not normal.
There's lots of things that you can do about it. In fact, you can even find out what exactly is going on through really cool tests that I have available in the clinic um, via a company in England. And these issues are solvable. You shouldn't be dealing with stomach pain, gas, wind, discomfort, IBS, constipation, diarrhea, fear around every race over what is going to happen, fear about travel and having a worsening of your, your symptoms because you're more susceptible to food intolerance. And that's not a genetic thing. That's because you're less resilient because of some imb imbalances that we can work on. Um, so, yeah. Now, because we're not having races at the moment, is a great opportunity for us to take a bit of a deeper look into what is going on and address it for once and for all. It will take a bit of commitment um, and patience. There isn't, like when you sign up and you get a training plan, it rarely ever changes. With the gut, how things proceed can dictate how things continue to proceed, if that makes sense. And every bit of new information um, helps guide us along the way so what I would say is if that if you start to work with someone like me or someone else who's an expert in 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 gut health that also understands athletes is that it's not it's not set in stone you need to trust us a little bit you need to communicate with us and we adapt as we go based on what emerges so to speak um I do understand uh my gut is my weakness um I'm probably more vulnerable because I, my appendix came out when I was young, which means I'm generally the person that gets sick from the water, sick from the food, sick from stress. Um, but there's also reasons for that. It's not just that I'm useless and sensitive. Um, I don't have a reserve of the beneficial bugs because of my appendix. And then because of food um, poisoning incidents, is, um, we can become more autoimmune to further. So... And then any minor imbalances can 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 start to create more more problems because the gut isn't functioning as it is. So I I understand. Um, I've got sick from open water swimming. It's all of these really frustrating things. I I get. Um, but it also means I'm quite passionate about making sure people don't go through these things. Um, and also helping you to understand that your migraine might actually be due to your gut. Your joint pain might be due to your gut. Your female um, hormonal issues, your gut, your liver problems, your skin problems, they're all sort of tied in. And the gut generally is the first place. Um, mood, anxiety, depression, um, up and down, clarity, foggy brain. Again, amazingly linked to your gut. So don't leave it. Now is your chance to work in it. If you want to have a good race season next year, you're better off putting in some really good groundwork now on getting yourself to 100% health. Um, health matters for an athlete. You can't train consistently. You can't have good resilience without health. When you're resilient and when you're training consistently, that is when you power out the good sessions, when you don't miss sessions, and when you arrive to race day strong and fit. So if this sounds like you, reach out and let's do something about it. My contacts are everywhere, but my email is andreacullenhealthsolutions at gmail.com um, or send me a message through whatever way you saw me and um, let's get working on it. And if you don't have gut problems and you've made it the whole way through this talk, well, well done you. And I'm delighted that you don't have problems because you have no idea. Health is everything and gut health is what makes health everything. So lucky you. Cool, guys. I will talk to you again soon. Bye.